Hey Mints, I hope you're ready for part two of the Project Revamp series. It's been a while, but I'm so excited to bring to you this twist tie fringe look. So basically, in this video, you have the option to keep a regular fringe or go with this twist tie look. It's super cute, it clings to the body a little bit, and it's just such a cute DIY fun look. Before we get into the video, I just want to thank you all for the likes and the positive comments. They really are amazing, and I really, really appreciate if you guys subscribe. That would be awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get on with it. So to start off the look, this is optional, but I'm cutting off the bottom seam. This, again, will allow for more of a DIY look. It will also allow for the ends to kind of curl up a bit, which I think is cute. You may All not. Right, my ends are cut. As you can see, when cutting, I uh, accidentally cut up here. But since we're making fringe anyways, it really does not matter. Um, as my mints know, always keeping your scraps is a really good idea. You never know when you're going to need them. Also, this shirt has a high low effect. I'm keeping that with my fringe design, but you can do whatever you want. You could totally chop that off. Probably just like what I did right here, start cutting lines up equal distances from each other. If you want to mark off where your lines should start and end, I would recommend using a crayon. But for me, I'm just going to cut, 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 and I'll show you a few as of those. You can see, I've made a few cuts down on the bottom here. On the bottom, I'm going a little bit higher than the top because we do have a high-low effect going on. I just cut up and I'm making, or at least trying to make, a, a equal sections down here. Alright, I'm going to provide a new angle again, trying to keep those cuts even. I'm cutting through and then reaching my desired point. Again, you can always make them longer, but you cannot make them shorter. Just keep that in mind when you're cutting up. And that is what my cut I just made it look sick. Alright guys, I'm done with my bottom layer and you cannot get something that looks like this in the store. This is definitely something DIY and I absolutely love Fringe it. Fringe is perfect for in the summer to wear with shorts, but it's also great for layering in the winter with jackets and sweaters. Also, it is ideal for fall and spring too. Fringe just seems to work all year round. Fringe the front half of the shirt. I'm just flipping the shirt around. Just, you know, putting on my back fringe up here and my cute razor backs up here. Flashback to part one. All right, you guys, I am back. Different setting, but I'm going to show you the rest of the twist fringe video. That's so I'm going to start by taking two sections of my shirt. So now I'm going to show you what you do to those two sections. You just hold those two sections and basically like a regular knot, you cross them over each other and then loop a strand through and then tie them together. This is what it looks like on two strands. I think it's really cute, but again, if you don't, then you can just leave it as a regular fringe t-shirt. So this is what one fully knotted side looks like, and this is what a regular fringe would look like. Uh, if you like the knots, then continue doing them. If you don't, you can just leave yours regular fringe. So I'm done knotting. This version will be pretty tight to the waist. You can see this is what it would look like on one side and then the other side. Now, um, if you have an uneven, I luckily had an even amount of strands, but if you have an uneven amount of strands, you can just clip one off or you can tie it to a, another braid. I hope you guys enjoyed this twist fringe video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and a friendly comment as well as subscribing. That would really make my day. We have a Pinterest account, Mint DIYs, for you guys to check out. That is in the description below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Mwah! Next time.